Here we go. We will be looking at these types of problems right here. The box and whisker plot represents in the lengths and seconds of the songs played by a rock band at a concert. Well, if you don't know anything about a box and whisker plot, at least you could tell that the shortest song length is 160 seconds, the longest is 300. Well, now we're going to read, learn how to read the rest of this and interpret it. So here we go, 8-3 box and whisker plots. So box and whisker, these things that hang off the ends there, those are called whiskers, like a cat. Okay, now within this, pretty easy, the smallest one, that's the least value, or the smallest value, this is the greatest value. This number right here in the middle, that's the median of the data also known as the second quartile, median of the data. And then the other two points at the end of the box are called the first quartile and the third quartile, or the lower quartile and upper quartile. We need five numbers. We need the least value, we need the first quartile, and the median, and the third quartile, and the greatest value. One, two, three, four, five, to set up a box and whisker plot. So that's called a five number summary. All right, here's an example. Making a box and whisker plot. We're making one that represents the ages of members on a backpacking expedition to the mountains. Okay, first thing we have to do is order these from least to greatest. So I have an 18-year-old on this trip, that's the one I'm going to list first, and then all the way up to 30 years old. Now, first thing, after I've ordered it, I want to check to see where's the median. This is an even set of numbers, so the median is going to fall in between two numbers, which splits it exactly in two halves, the lower half and the upper half. If it is an odd set of numbers, if there was a number in the middle here, that would be the median, and it would be neither part of the lower or upper half. These are the least values, 18 and 30, and then we look at each half to find the quartiles. The quartiles are the median of each half. So this is made up of six numbers right here. So the lower quartile would fall in between 22 and 24, the upper quartile in between 28 and 30. So the lower quartile, or the first quartile, is, called, is 23, halfway in between 22 and 24. The upper quartile, or third quartile, is between 28 and 30, is 29. Now, in order to make a box and whisker plot, now I have my five values, I'm going to put these on a number line. My number line doesn't have to start at 1, it can start at whatever my least value is. So I'm going to put a dot right there, then where my first quartile is at 23, I'll put one there, the median is at 25, and then the third quartile, 29, and my greatest value at 30. Once I have those, I put a box around the quartiles, and then extend whiskers to the greatest and least. And there's my box and whisker plot. All right, interpreting it, you need to know that each segment here is a quarter of all the data, or 25%. So each whisker contains 25%. Each part of the box contains 25%, so the box in total contains 50% of the data. Here's that problem, the length of rock song of songs played at a rock band concert. All right, the shortest song is 160, the longest is 300 seconds. Find and interpret the range. So we're going from 300, 160 to 300. Subtract those two to give you a range of 140 seconds. What does that mean? Because it says interpret, so that means that these songs varied in length by no more than 140 seconds. Describe the distribution. 
describing the distribution. Okay, so I want to know where is it more clustered, where is it spread apart. If I look at this, we know each whisker is 25%. So 25% is from 160 to 220. 25% is from 220 to 260. Or I could say the whole box as one is 50%. So 50% of the data falls in between 220 and 280. And then 25% of songs are between 280 and 300 seconds. All right, a couple more questions about this box and whisker plot. Find and interpret the interquartile range. Interquartile range, right? Make sure you write this term down, highlight it. The interquartile range is the range from one quartile to the next quartile. So the range between the quartiles is the interquartile range. So we have 220 and 280. Those two subtracted from each other give us 60. The interquartile range, or IQR, is 60. What this means is that the middle half of the song lengths vary by no more than 60 seconds. Are the da data more spread out below quartile 1 or above quartile 3? So there's Q1, quartile 1, here's quartile 3. Where are they more spread out? Well, this whisker is a lot longer, which means the data are more spread out. This is the same number of data values, but it's 25%, it's but it's spread out more. So... Since the left whisker is longer than the right whisker, the data below quarter, quartile 1 are more spread out. All right, a couple more things, just looking at the shapes of box and whisker plots. If it's stretched out, we have a value that's really small. It's skewed towards this side. Okay, so the side that's stretched out is skewed. So this is skewed to the left. This one is symmetric, where each part is the same length. The median is in the middle of the plot. And then skewed to the right means that the right whisker is longer than the left whisker. Most of the data are on the left side of the plot. So if you look at this, the middle of the plot would be here. Most of the data are on the left side. All right, so comparing these, here's another example. Identify the shape of each distribution. So let's look at your class first. These are test scores from your class and your friend's class. So here we are skewed on the left side. This is skewed on the left side. And your friend's class is symmetric. Which test scores are more spread out? Well, your friend's class has a range from 60 to 100, so those data values are more spread out. And that's all for today. See you in the next lesson.